ever wanted to know more about the house and why some boom beach statues? This episode explains it all. Hey, what is up you guys? It is Ivorverse and welcome back to another episode of Boom Beach. And in this episode of Boom Beach, we're going to talk about everything that I feel you guys should be knowing about the wonderful world of Boom Beach statues in its whole. Because, you know, it's very important to make certain decisions based on what kind of like statue you need to be going for in Boom Beach. Because it's going to be affecting your gameplay. So this uh, video is going to be like some sort of a guide or tutorial in which I'm going to talk about my experience and and uh, also generic information that you guys should be knowing as well alongside with what I feel you guys should be going for depending on where you're at at the game as well. So uh, that being said, let's uh, cover the fundamentals here first, you know. When you get started on Boom Beach on headquarters level 5, you're going to be unlocking the sculpture. You want to be making that as soon as possible because that way you can already get your statues going. And statues are going to give you great benefits into the game. Um, then after that, if you have the ability to upgrade your sculpture, just go ahead and do this as soon as you can because uh, you cannot go wrong with having more, you know, statues in Boom Beach because it's going to, as I already mentioned before, going to be a great asset to the game. So um, definitely focus on upgrading your sculpture, like one of the very first buildings into the game. Uh, you can also go for the armory, but I would definitely recommend doing the sculpture first, at least from my perspective. So the moment I reach level 18, I'm going to be saving up materials in order to go um, to uh, sculpture level 7. So, there's a few points that I got written down that I want to talk about because I feel they are actually very important. Uh, first off, we're going to be talking about what power stones are, what type of different types of statues there are in the game, where you're able to get them. Uh, then I'm going to be talking about power powder because that also plays a role into uh, the Boomy statue story. Uh, what kind of percentage is the lowest and the highest percentage for each type on the masterpiece. And then, of course, my advice on the statue. So, that being said, let's open up the sculpture first so statues you're able to craft a lot of statues or create a lot of statues in the sculpture but what exactly are statues that's something that you guys should be knowing first well uh, what statues are doing are giving you cool little boosts in the game and there can be anything like uh, for example better resources into the game uh, let, let me show you guys a couple of examples here so if we go to our armory you see all of the troops that we got here right if we check out the heavy at the top you actually see that it has more health than usual because it has an additional boost because of my statue also the damage is also increased and that is because I got statues for troop damage and for troop health so that is how you can actually boost up anything literally anything like for example gumbo energy get more gumbo energy which is very helpful or add additional like uh, like for example building health that is also a thing building health over here or the capacity or the production rate as well so that is what statues are doing and that is why they are so useful so i have different types of statues which i'm going to be covering to you guys a little bit later but in order to create a statue you're going to be needing power Power stones in order to do that. Now, power stones, um, you know, play a significant role in Boom Beach, and I'm going to tell you everything that you need to know about power stones. There's actually four types of uh, statues and four types of power stones, and they all each have their own color. The green ones are called life. As you guys can see over here at the tab, Live Idol, Live Guardian, Live Masterpiece. You got ice, which is uh, blue, <laughs> and then you got magma, which is red, and you got dark, which is purple. Okay, so you know the colors now, and it doesn't tell you anything. What do they do? What are the categories for? Life. It boosts up everything related to production. So keep that in mind. Production is like additional gold whenever you're looting it from your residences, or additional wood from your sawmill, or extra capacity, or the little boats that are popping in Boom Beach from the villages. They give you additional rewards as well if you got the appropriate statues for that. So keep that in mind. Then ice. Ice is uh, literally everything related to defense, so you're building health and the building damage that they're doing, so your your machine gun or your cannon is going to be doing more damage, that is ice. Magma, offense, do more damage, more troop health and more troop uh, damage, you know, it's always going to be helpful. And then dark is uh, kind of strange, it's like... Uh, Hidden powers, I suppose. Uh, not that hidden, really. I got all three of them. I'm gonna show them off to you guys. The first one is Gunboat Energy. Increases Gunboat Energy. Pretty straightforward. The second one is Resource Ward over here. 
read this for yourself, increases the amount of resources you can gain from victory. And then the last one is uh, increased power stone chance. So increase the chance of discovering power stones after destroying an enemy base. So, how do you get these power stones? Power stones are obtained in different types of ways in Boom Beach. And I'm going to show you guys the most straightforward one, which is attacking a base on the map. If you attack a base, depending on where you're attacking, you're going to be getting a specific type of power stone. If we attack the ice area over here, let's for example scout legion, at the left top corner you always see what kind of like stone you have a chance of getting. So for this one, for a legion, you have a chance of getting uh, the blue ones, the icy ones, the icy power stones, and you can see the, the base is entirely covered with ice, pretty easy to remember. Next up is magma, that's a little bit harder, but still relatively easy. Um, basically everything with like... Uh, Let's call them black rocks near a volcano, black rocks. So for example, this one over here, full coverage, uh, has like black rocks. So that means uh, magma is over there or like fire and, and everything. Red stones are available from this kind of basis. And the next one are life and that are these. So don't be confused by the stones because the stones are a little bit brownish in this one or beige. And as you guys can see, these give you life crystals or life power stones. Then, where's the purple ones? Because we didn't talk about the purple ones yet. Um, in order to get the dark ones, you gotta be uh, trying to defeat Dr. Terror. And what is Dr. Terror? It is an event that I'm covering onto the channel. Just check it out from time to time. Any of my other videos are covering Dr. Terror. But basically, uh, Dr. Terror unlocks whenever you defeated Hammerman on level 20. is level 20 base or is level 25 base. There are two types of terror bases. The first one spawns on Wednesday, which is uh, the island base. And the harder one on level 25 uh, spawns on Saturday. And if you defeat those bases, you're going to be getting dark crystals or dark 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 power stones that's what it's called so uh, keep those in mind so the dark ones are really rare to come by and if you get your daily rewards which is the second way of getting power stones which usually drops around here you definitely want to be going for the power stones there because it's you know it's just worth it another way the third way and uh, i think the last way in order to get power stones is by doing submarine diving for example if we go over here to this diving spot um, you're able to, yeah, over here, power stone, uh, four ice fragments, which is a, a pretty nice deal down there. So over here, you even got five and they drop anything. So any color is available from diving with your submarine. So in order to see what Hammerman is, this cloud over here indicates that Hammerman is going to be down there. That's going to be covered in a different type of episodes in case you were curious about knowing if it was going to be level 25 or level 20. I think level 20 spawns around um around here in this little area so if you got this resource base hammerman is going to be pretty close after that and i think volcano dr terror is going to be around here here ish i'm not entirely sure i think it was around here so keep those two positions in mind every single time you're going to be seeing in your activity log as well that uh terror is spawning like for example over here dr terror has landed and it's going to be over here and then at the other side it's also going to be down there so those are your ways to get your power stones in boomy sorry if i explain it very thoroughly but i need you guys to understand that so that way you guys know Okay, so the next subject I want to be talking about is going to be Power Powder. Power Powder uh, is obtainable if you make your sculpture for the first time. You're going to be getting Power Powder. And uh, some of you guys are confused about what it is. I mean, I was confused. I didn't understand what it was. But Power Powder is basically having the ability to boost up your statues even further. And they're temporary boosters. Uh, I'm going to show you guys. I got two of them boosted up right now. The first one is my gold production is right now. Instead of 40%, it's 80%. And my uh, Masterpiece for Resource Reward is 62% instead of my regular 31%. Now, you can keep on boosting your statue. Uh, if I were to be reboosting the statue, it would just increase the time. It would not increase the, uh, the gold production itself. So, right now it is for a week. Every single time I'm boosting up a green statue, it would add an additional 3 days on top of that. And you can notice that a statue is boosted up by, by the blinking that it's showing. So this one is boosted up and this one is boosted up because these two are blinking. 
Now the blue ones have a duration of 8 hours if you boost them up and the red ones and the purple ones have a duration of 3 hours. So this one's only going to be for uh, two, and a, 2 and a half more hours almost. So that's something you all should be taking into consideration. Now how are you actually able to get your power stones? Or I mean your power powder. Uh, that is by sacrificing or uh, reclaiming a statue. You're going to be getting 7 power powder. I'm not going to be doing that because I like my statues. But that is a way to do that. So sometimes you're going to be getting a masterpiece that's like weaker. Or a masterpiece that you don't like. You can always reclaim them for more power powder. And that is a really nice way. An efficient way to get some more power powder. Masterpieces. They gotta be the most fun thing to look forward to in the game, right? I mean, you guys probably agree with me on this. Getting a masterpiece just feels fantastic because you always get to see what is in your masterpiece. And that is the most fun anticipated moment in basically in Boom Beach because you're working for like one or two weeks in order to get it. And when you finally get it, you're like, yes, let's check what we got. And oh no, it sucks. But yeah, it's fun. It's still fun, you know, and, and just leave a comment about it. If you like masterpieces, let me know because I'm curious about that. But that being said, though, I'm gonna uh, give you guys a little story about masterpieces, like a mistake that I made. I focused everything, all of my energy on, on one masterpiece, and that was a gunboat energy one. I had, I think I had like a, I'm not entirely sure, like in the 20s percent, and I wanted to be getting another one. So I threw away a, uh, a power stone chance because of that and I didn't have a power stone chance but I didn't know that you were not able to have two of the same type of masterpieces in the game. Which really sucked at the time, I was like oh no, I actually threw away a masterpiece I could have used. And that's the, uh, the moral of the story. You can only have one masterpiece of the same type. They can be the same color. As you guys can see, I have masterpieces of, uh, of red and of purple, but only one of the same type. So please be very careful with that. Don't make the same mistake as I did, because I still regret it up to today. But uh, the next subject I'm going to be talking about, that's going to be the last subject. That is going to be my advice when it comes down to... Uh, your masterpieces or your statues in general like what kind of statues you should be keeping uh, allow me to show you guys a little sheet that uh, was available through the wikia that shows the best percentage and the worst and everything in between for idols guardians and masterpieces and uh, i'm gonna give you guys like some sort of information based on the type of player that you might be uh, on boom beach so let's first talk about Passive players. Passive players are defensive players that are only focusing on defense, aren't really attacking the base because they cannot be bothered and log on the game from every once in a while to see how the base is doing and collect the rewards and all of that great stuff. Those are defensive players. Uh, defensive players should be having a life statues and eye statues because um, obviously you want to be defending your base. And those are the statues you, you are best off with. On the other hand, if you're an offensive player, you don't want to be getting those statues, but you want to be getting magma statues and dark statues. So uh, those are the statues you're going to be focusing on. And of course, after the, the masterpiece, you're going to be getting the guardians. Like, for example, I got my gunboat energy masterpiece, but I also got a guardian on top of that because I like gunboat that much. So that should be a focus uh, if you're an offensive player like myself. Now, of course, you, you got different types of players. Like, you cannot be a combination of both. Like, what, what if you aren't that far in the game yet? Like, we all already know what the game's gonna be like in the ending of the game. You're only going to be having gunboat energy, troop health, and troop damage. But, what if you're not like that? You know, uh, if you're not in the ending of the game, I mean, like, if you are a little bit like, you're still growing your base, and you're still having a few headquarters to unlock, and you still are having your armory maxed out, and you still got a few spots on the, on the map left that you want to be unlocking, um... I would definitely encourage you to go for a gold production increase statue, a masterpiece uh, of at least like 35% and above because that's going to be worth it. And you might want to be boosting that one up as well if you want to be upgrading stuff fast because I kind of noticed after a while that uh, my armory, I wasn't able to upgrade anything because A, I kept getting attacked and B, uh, I was always short on money because of that too. So you might want to be doing that and because of my gold increase masterpiece i'm now able to always get stuff ongoing in the uh, in the armory as much as i want to so this is a great asset to your to your base also um if you're in between as well then make sure you have a gunboat energy 
Good mode energy masterpiece is just really great. Like, everybody loves good mode energy. And if you have a lot of it, then you're going to be having a lot of fun upgrading this stuff in your base. So, all of this was the Boom Beach Guide for statues, power stones, and the sculpture. If you, after this episode, still have any questions or anything like that, feel free to drop them in the comment section down below. And I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And, uh, yeah, we're going to be wrapping things off here. So, first of all, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, make sure that if you guys like this video, to... Give it a thumbs up. That being said, this has been Reverse for Boom Beach. I'm going to be signing off and I'll see you guys in the next one.